hello everyone and welcome again to gsmct so yes today we are gonna do again a review on the topic love island you know uh series 9 and this is episode 23 so i'm gonna talk about what happened last night because i'm gonna say this this uh issue about the dishes has gotten out of hand now i'm gonna say this i do not understand why tanya uh, is blaming Shaq so much. I think Shaq did the right thing because if you look at what Ron did, Ron actually left the dishes. And I'm wondering if there was nobody there who would have done the dishes. Ron just left the dishes and just went to sit down and chat with the girls as if he does not have to, you know, help out the guys in the kitchen and, and clean up all of those things that they cooked. Now I'm going to say this, Ron is giving me a kind of guy that you would be in a relationship with and he would just abandon the house chores for you because he thinks he doesn't have to do it. He doesn't actually register in his head. And when you do call him out and say, you know what, come help me out in the kitchen or come help me, you know, clean out this mess that we both made, he probably going to be looking at you like, but you are doing it, but you can do it and if your girl you, he's probably gonna think oh it's your choice it's a woman's choice he's giving me that kind of behavior now my issue with this particular topic is also the fact that Ta uh, tanya decided she was gonna confront you know shark with uh lana lana also is at fault here lana didn't call ron and said okay ron you should have been with the guys you should have helped out you know you should have actually help out clean and the fact that shark even said the guys were even getting in their feelings because ron just left how can you just cook and leave i mean you cooked for your girl everybody cooked for the girl and you just left who do you expect to do the dishes and i'm gonna say this lana is also to be held accountable because she should have also told him you know what why didn't you help the your bodies you know clean out and she, she was just oblivious. Instead, she was blaming Shaq. And Tanya, I feel like Tanya just want to be a people pleaser and just going in the other direction. At this point, she's almost destroying her relationship with Shaq just to be friends with somebody or just to be a people pleaser. Because let me tell you something. If Shaq would, uh, if Ron would have done that, I don't think Lana would be out here actually schooling him and being, uh, uh, especially together with somebody else schooling him and telling him uh, how wrong he was for calling out somebody that was actually in the wrong. Ron was in the wrong. He didn't want to go clean that place. And the fact that they did call him multiple times, it's not as if they called him one time. And that is the problem that I had with Tanya in this particular case. She actually, when she was calling uh, uh, Shaq, when she was calling Shaq, she was like, you know what? Um, you called him the first time. It's a grown man. He, he can do whatever he wants. And I'm going to say this, that is an enabler kind of behavior. You're enabling something that you wouldn't want. Because this is the thing, if you enable that kind of behavior and you would date somebody like that in real life, he would expect you to carry out all the house chores and everything in the house by yourself, which is absolutely, you know, unacceptable for me. Like, if we are going to be a partner, we're going to be a partner for everything. Now, with that being said, I'm going to say this. You guys let me know what you think about this particular episode. And yes, we did have the elimination. Yeah, before we also go into the, you know, and before I bring out the scene so that you guys can see what happened in the, in the villa, I just wanted to give you guys my opinion. So, we also got the elimination of Ellie and Jordan. I'm going to say this. Uh, well, you know, it wasn't really going well, just like the other previous uh, contestant that left. I mean, Ellie and Jordan, it seems like, you know, they were not really finding uh, someone in the villa. Pretty sure Ellie is a very beautiful girl. She's probably going to find somebody. Now, let's talk about the tension between uh, Ron and, you know, Shaq. Shaq also, I want to call out Shaq in this particular topic. I think Shaq should mind his business, especially when it comes to the relationship of Lana and Ron. Because at this point, you have created tension between you and, you know, Ron, all because of Lana and because you have 
her interest at heart. She doesn't have her own interest at heart. At the end of the day, Lana decided to go back to Ron. And you guys have this tension for what now? Now, with that being said, Lo uh, Ron also act actually acts like a child uh, complaining about Shark actually drifting away because of, is it, what is his name, Cassie? And I'm like, you are not children. You can actually all have conversation. It's like it's given, oh, you're my friend and I don't want to share you. So if you go over there, then we're going to create a divide and we're going to create tension. And let's not forget about the competition that they had with that Roman costume that they had when uh, Cassie was coupled up with Lana. Yes, Ron was in the wrong going after Cassie like that. And I'm going to say this. It was very disrespectful. And I understand where Shaq came with that. And I understand that he shark was doing whatever he was doing was in the interest of lana now with that being said with tanya i think what tanya did i understand where she's coming from with the because of the kind of tone that ron i mean that shark was using to talk to her about the situation he was like don't ever talk to me like that i'm like okay dude chill out i think you're going a little bit too far i understand that you're mad because you on you feel like you're in the right but at the same time telling somebody not to ever talk to you like that is it's actually very consigning and it raises red flag. It giving, it's giving like you are going to have a problem in that relationship. That is the problem that Shark actually had talking to, you know, Tanya that way. And I understand that she put a pause in there real fast and very quick. And I'm going to say this. Um, the two people that was eliminated, I wish them all good, but I think Lana and Ron's relationship is trash and Tanya and Shark's relationship, although I still don't believe in it, I'm just here to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy this short clip from, you know, Love Island that I have for you guys. Without further ado, let's just go in there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all on the next one. I just wanted to, to to speak to you, and as the time's gone on, we've kind of we've kind of grown further and further apart. And maybe I was gravitating toward towards Casey a bit more, which is isn't fair because I didn't know that you felt like you you had been pushed to one side. You coming, you telling Ron to come to the kitchen. The first time was fine, but then the second time it was rude. Like T Tanya and, and Lana were having a chat at the beanbags. I wanted to talk to you because we felt like. The situation with, with Ron last night was really weird and I was really rude and things like that. Really? Yeah. I feel like the girls are a lot stronger than the boys at the minute. So. Yeah, in terms of friendship. Yeah. Yeah. We're like this, we're I honest. I feel like there's tension yeah. somewhere, I don't even know why. So really the way you react to Shaq and how you pull him up on things is so good. Like, you, think you so? can't have yeah. a relationship without being upfront and honest about things. Mm -hmm. I feel like the dynamic between the girls is in it's a really good place. But the dynamic with the boys is not bit. so much. The Casey situation, I feel like, is fizzling. And where he's getting on with Claudia, mm -hmm. that's probably helping him through it. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to, to speak to you, because I would 100% never do that to you. I would never put you in a situation where it's me and someone else, like double team and saying the same thing to get at you. I feel like now I'm seeing the little bits of you that I don't like. Oh. Can all islanders gather around the fire pit? immediately. Islanders, the couples with the fewest votes risk being dumped from the island tonight. The couple with the fewest votes and therefore dumped from the island is Ellie and Jordan. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. All good things must come to an end. So I'm excited to see what's out there for me. So don't forget to like and subscribe, people. Let me know what you think about this particular episode. Was Ron right for not going and helping out with his buddies? And was Shaq right for calling, me, calling him out? Don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.